Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. I have another blast from the past to share with you. If you have a young person in your life that loves horses, he or she will love this sweater. When my daughter was nine, her whole world was horses. She was riding, she was loving everything about them. She wanted a horse sweater. And I loved it when my kids would ask specifically for something. They're like, yes, I'm gonna make something that they really want. So we found this pattern and I wanna show you how cool this is. The horse continues to the backside. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about the pattern first. It's a you can knit pattern and it's the unicorn but you can knit it as a horse without the horn. Of course, if the child wants the unicorn, you can do that. Uh, there is some intarsia because you will be changing colors. So you will be doing that twist that I taught a couple episodes ago when you do the color change. And it's actually not a complicated pattern for intarsia at all. The colors are simple. You can see there's only two browns. The pattern, looking inside, you can see how it's all laid out for you and you know which stitch to do what with. Very nice here. It's for child size two through 10, so that covers a large range of kids. And you could do any colors you want. It's great. I made it with Plymouth Yarn Encore worsted weight. It's 75% acrylic and 25% wool. And what that does is make it very soft, very comfortable, very durable, and you can machine wash it and dry it. I don't think I've ever thrown a sweater in the dryer, but I guess you could, the tag says you can. But you can machine wash it. And I love that with kids' sweaters because you want kids to be kids, do what they normally do and if their sweater gets dirty you can clean it so my daughter wore this a lot i mean you can tell that it's been worn but it still looks great so i'm saving it for her kid so i'll tell you i went on the hunt for this because i always like to do this for you is give you the pattern information so you can find it quickly and i include the links in the description on the youtube show I could not find this pattern online at all. So on the back, they did have some of their contact information and I emailed them today to see if the pattern is still for sale and how you can get a hold of it. I will include their email address in the YouTube description so that if you would like to contact them, you can. All right, I'm gonna do everything I can to find this pattern for you so you can do this. And if anybody else out there knows how the rest of the viewers can buy this, please let me know. You can contact me on rehashfiber.com. My contact information is there. Okay, so we're on the animal theme today. We're gonna to talk about Patreon, which you can find on my website, rehashfiber.com. Patreon is a way you can contribute a small amount of money each month, and it just helps pay to keep the show going. So if you're being entertained, keep the show rolling. I do have a gift for a drawing for the first 15 Patreon members. I have a skein of yarn that once there's 15, I'm gonna draw the name and it is from the Wolf Collection of Ancient Arts Yarn. Each colorway is made after a dog or cat and this is after the German Shepherd. Super, super fun. So that will be in the drawing. Also, if you sign up for Patreon, we're gonna give you a shout out on the show. Celebrate you. And also on the website, there's merchandise, really fun stuff, um, and that helps too. All right, that's it for today. Happy knitting, and thanks for watching.